live here. Second video for the three wheel trailer building series. We've got most of the trailer built. This is going to be the front of the trailer. Turn the camera look, there you go. And this will attach to the front. This is what will make the third wheel for the front and will give it the ability to steer. But we have to take it home, do some cleanup back here where we cut the back end of the bike off. The little pieces here need to be cleaned up. This needs to be cut off right here. I can't do that in this shop. So that's going to attach there. And the way that that's going to attach is back here. These, uh, these brackets right here, these three L brackets, will be bolted to the bed of the trailer. These will be bolted to this front piece and I will probably radius these corners just to make it look nice. And then that bike, half a bike, will be bolted through here, through the frame of the bike, and that's what will give it the third wheel. This is three quarter inch plywood. These are two by threes, which I'm going to drill a series of holes through so that when there's holes through here, you'll be able to tie cordage and stuff. These brackets, remove these brackets here. And I'm going to show you the bottom side of the trailer and how we, how we attached it. Now, like I said in the earlier series, it's a series of different tubing that I put together to make the framework that the three-quarter ply is attached to. And the way that I attached the three-quarter ply was I screwed the two-by-three into the piece of three-quarter ply with some exterior wood screws. Then I pre-drilled holes through the tubing, offset these lines represent where the screws are from the three-quarter ply to the two by three. So I offset the screws and then I used three inch exterior screws. I drilled through the metal. I didn't pre-drill this because I wanted it to grip tight. The exterior three inch screw goes through the metal, through the three-quarter ply and into the two by three, which gives it a very solid foundation. These cross members, I will be drilling two holes in approximately here in here and then there will be a bolt countersunk in the three-quarter ply to also hold it on here and here the reason that i left this piece from the original child's trailer is because it makes a good base for it to stand up on end for storage it's a little rickety but leaning up against the wall it gives it a nice solid base and i'll be putting one more straight tube back here to bolt through to the back end just for a little more support in the back end. You can see up here, the front of the plywood, the, the base, I bolted to the pipes. I got nuts and washers in there. And then the, the front piece, I have bolted here and here. I've got to put one more bolt there. Those bolts, plus there's a screw. You can see that screw goes into here into the two by three on the side. And then with the brackets, it should give it enough stability where it's not gonna break, this piece of three quarter ply will not break loose from the trailer while you're transporting things on it. So that's that's where I've gotten so far today. It, it does weigh a little bit. I mean, it is three quarter ply, but I wanted something that was gonna be a good solid foundation for my trailer. And I may go back later on and mark out and map out lines within the bed of the trailer and maybe drill some holes through it just for aesthetics and to lighten it up a little bit. May just use a hole saw or a paddle bit and just drill some holes through the ply. Haven't decided yet. I'm still thinking about that. But that's where we're at today. I don't know how much it weighs, so if, if anybody's gonna ask me, well, how much does it weigh? I, I wouldn't even be able to tell you how much it weighs. I, I'm not a weight weenie, I don't care. If I, if I was a weight weenie, I would have never bought a, a surly big dummy cargo bike because, I mean, that bike weighs 55 pounds. I, I don't worry about weight, I'm strong. I can, I can pedal it. The other day when I took my girlfriend out for that 25 mile ride I went on, 
with her on the back, I had about 380 pounds total between me, her, the weight of the bike, stuff in my bags, and I pedaled 25 miles with no problem. But that's where we're at on this build. Let me know. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Any suggestions? I'm, I'm always open for suggestions. Love, love to hear from y'all. Uh, that's all I got for today. And uh, I don't know, a day or two. May have to wait till next weekend. But we'll continue on the trailer build. And we'll post some more videos till it's done. And I know plywood like is not good to be in the weather. I get that. But I'm going to seal the edges with epoxy, and then probably have to wait till summertime unless we get some real warm spells and then I'm going to paint it up to help protect it. Probably a real bright color like a yellow or orange or a real like fluorescent type green. Something that's high visibility so when I'm pulling it around people can you know they see it so they don't run me and my trailer over. That's all I got for you today. Y'all ride safe. Be careful. Cargo Bike Life out.